Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and today I thought we'd take a look at what I got myself for my um, birthday. Uh, something which I've always promised myself to be honest. Um, so what we'll do is we'll unbox, um, we'll unbox it and we will uh, take a look. Now I'm sure you already know what this is because you've read the title of the description. So. Yeah, I've finally splurged. I got myself a brand new modern Ooh. give you an idea what's in here. Ooh. Come on, out we come. Another set of leads there. This is lovely and wet. Oh dear. We've got more cables flopping out everywhere now. They're very nicely packed. myself a hand tech um, this is a DSO 2C10 um, digital oscilloscope two channel digital oscilloscope because I've always used just old junky scopes that I could get you know like this one um, there's nothing really wrong with it um, in fact it's, it's a hand peg it's a good 20 megahertz oscilloscope but I've never owned a brand new oscilloscope before. To be honest, they've always been way out of my price range, but um, these Chinese built scopes, I've been I was I've been looking at reviews of them for some time because I've been considering one for some time. And people seem to give these pretty good reviews. As in, what well, that is there, a bit of tape or something stuck out of the, uh, I don't know what, pull out, like a bit of tape or something stuck out of the uh, front of the screen there. We'll, uh, we'll power it on and we'll see what it does. You know, it was, I think it was a, um, a toss-up between this and um, I think it's um, O1 um, brand <laughs> scope. And they're both around about the same price. But apparently this has got slightly more advanced features on it than the um, O1 scope had. Don't look, I know whether I'm ever going to use any of these features. It certainly takes up a lot less um, desk space than my old scope. Um, I'll probably be able to just fit it in down the side when I'm not using it. Let's, uh, let's switch on. There we go, Hamtech. Your testing solution provider. Wow! I heard some relays go inside it then. Um, right, we've got um, a test a test point there, so we can actually um, straight out of the box just see whether what it's going to do. We can just use that straight test lead for this. Oh, 
this isn't going to be a full review or anything like that. Um, that's not really what I do on my channel. This is just a quick look, see what I've got kind of thing. There we go. I'll bring that down. What's the position for that one? Volts per division. There we go. Um, channel one menu. Coupling DC, of course. I mean, what do you? Oh, there we go. So you can. There we go. AC coupled. That's it. Yeah, it wants to be AC coupled. There we go. Let's bring that back up. So that seems to work quite nicely. Oh yeah, we've even got a um, horizontal position. It should be a one kilohertz square wave according to um, what the test test point is on there. That's um, seconds um, division. I've got position. It's one of them things I am going to have to get, um, it doesn't actually come with a manual, I don't think, just literally a little sheet of paper, so I will have to do some um, looking about online to fully, you know, fully work out how to use this. That's all it comes with, um, quality certificate. Was that like a warranty? Oh, I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, war uh, warranty card, because I presume it's got 12 months warranty on it, it is brand new. So we get a warranty card, and then basically what's in the pack, so the scope, um, set of scope probes, BNC to um, crop clips, which that's what i am just been using, power lead, a USB cable, certificate of conformity, which I think is that, um, which is basically the warranty, oh, I'm guessing they've just used the same sheet, yeah. Yeah, they have. So that's one sheet with both things on it by the look of it. So you don't actually get a printed manual or anything like that. And then we get a set of... Um, you only get the one set though. Um, you don't get two sets of probes with it, even though it's a two-channel um, scope, but I've got other sets of I've got other probes so that's not a uh, a problem and to be honest there's not that many times that you really need to um, use both channels and there are the odd times when it's um, handy but it's not um, not the end of the world thing let's have a look on the uh, channel 2 make sure that that works so again let's um, set the dot volts volts per division that's too low And then um, channel 2 menu, and we'll set the coupling to AC. I think that's how I got the other one to stop. Uh... Save to USB, so you can. I mean, that's the other thing. This is a, a storage scope. It'll actually capture waveforms and allow you to save them and um, recall them later, or even drop them down to a USB stick and um, load them up on your um, load them up on your computer. Yeah. 
definitely a uh, Definitely seems to be doing the thing. That brings you straight up, oh, right, okay. So I'm really just um, messing about at the moment because I don't know what everything does on this thing yet. There's only one. Don't need invert. No. We've done that before. Yeah. There's a bit of um, a lag between you actually um, doing stuff, you're a con operating in a control and it actually uh, you're actually doing on the um, screen but I suppose that's the whole thing with it being digital. But like I said, yeah, it's it's very um, <laughs> it's very complicated compared with what I'm um, I'm used to. Oh right, that's cool. I'm going to stop stop messing with it now before I completely um, mess up the whole thing. Before I've actually uh, I've actually read a manual and figured out exactly what I'm doing with this thing. Default setup. Oh, that takes you straight back to that. Lovely. So you can't really mess up. If you do mess up, you can um, easily get yourself right back to where you started from. Why has that disappeared too now? I've just switched that channel off, have I? Hmm. So why is that going off when I switch the menu off? Oh, there we go, it stays on now. Yeah, very interesting. shut it down but yeah I was uh, like I said it was um, under 200 pounds this it was I think was it 180 I know I got a discount code through um, eBay uh, which knocked me I think about another 10 quid off it or 5 quid off it or something when I um, ordered it but um, I think it worked out about 180 quid, or just around about the 180 pounds mark, like I said, after that um, little discount. I think it should have been closer to about 190. Now, these have actually gone up in price from what they um, we cost originally. Um, originally, I remember seeing these come out, um, I think they were about around the 150 pound mark, or around that kind of price wise and this model's been out for a couple of years now and um, the price hasn't actually gone down it seems to have gone up slightly I mean that's cost of materials and everything seem to have um, gone up so I think that's what's um, caused that but oh it's that's got a little pull out feet oh excellent because I prefer it to just sit back a little bit like that that's really good so yeah I'm quite pleased with that like I say I'm it, you're not going to see it in um, like serious use for some time because I'm going to actually have to watch some videos and 
watch some tutorials and actually using this thing because it is a lot more um, fancy and advanced than my uh, my old scope there. So I'm going to leave it there for now. So this was just a quick little um, unboxing video, um, mainly just to see that it was you know it arrived here in a in one piece. Actually, it does have a tiny little bit of damage on the corner there, a little bit little bit damaged there, but. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Not for the price that it, um, not for the price that it costs. But I'll have to do something about that. Like a little piece of plastic or something's got stuck in. I'll, um, I'll deal with that. But um, for the, you can't really fault it for the money, um, for the features and everything that you know, a scope like this has um, got on it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. Hope you enjoyed this little um, unboxing video. So I will say thanks for watching and goodbye.